Good evening, everybody. I know you think it's Steve because I've got Steve's glasses on, but it's not Steve. Steve is on holiday, so I've taken up the helm. And this week, no, for these two weeks, I'm going to be doing the team member update. So it is Friday evening, bank holiday weekend, and we are at the, I think it must be one of the most beautiful pubs in the whole of the UK. We're at the ship in Dunwich, taking these glasses off. I'm here with one of the people behind the camera. Could we just see who's behind the camera, please? <laughs> That's Georgina. She's doing a fantastic job. And what they always say, behind every successful woman, there's a foolish man. So here's a successful woman. Hi. <laughs> Evening. Anyway, let's kick off with the pack horse. And I've got Steve's paper. He always has notes. Tonight, I've got notes. So first of all, pack horse, um, sad to say goodbye to Henry. Um, he has done a phenomenal job since he's been with us. And he will definitely be missed for all sorts of reasons. So good luck for the rest of his time on the Concord training program. Sonny and the kitchen team have been doing a phenomenal job. Oh, here's Shane. Is Shane, come around the yeah. corner. <laughs> this is Shane, one of the uh, I like. one of the, uh, the system managers here at the ship. So I was just saying, this has got to be one of the most beautiful spots in the UK. It's Probably. not bad, is it? No. It's all right. Busy night tonight? Very busy, as a standard Friday night, yeah. How many? 150 think you'll do? About 150, hopefully. We've and got three really progress. difficult ones here? Yeah, exactly. We are yeah. the easiest people. We're the least important people here tonight. Right. Shall I tell you why? Why? Because whatever happens, we're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'll put your fish and chips on order. If you're right. easy, Thanks All very right. much, Shane. All right, take care. Um, Sunny in the kitchen, fantastic job. Uh, really whipping up the fish of the day. Um, Goldie, now known as Paul Dackery, has been cracking on with the new cocktail list. New starters, we've got Hugo in the kitchen. We've got Ollie front of house. And as always, a thank you to John, who in case he hasn't told you, because he seems like he's told just about everybody else, he's working seven days this week. So thank you, John. <laughs> Poor John. Here we are back at the ship. Welcome to Susie, a new housekeeper. Thank you very much. Apparently we've got new fly catching plants inside, which we're about to go and find. Um, but really a broad thank you to the whole team who've really stepped up. And I think that Courtney and Beth have moved into areas that they haven't necessarily worked in before. Massive well done to the kitchen, who I, I suspect will be looking for some more 200 cover services. So well done, Liam and your team. Off to the Black Lion. Uh, not the easiest 10 days. A massive well done to those that have stepped up in the business. Nikki and Rosebury, Will, you have done a superb job. And we've got new starters, and we've got Mia returning. We've got Fern, we've got Lorne, and we've got Francesca. Good evening. A massive thank you to particularly to Sophie, Jamie, and Brad, who have really helped things to get keep together whilst we've had the last 10 days of what's been a little bit, a few ups and downs. But actually, what's incredible is we had a great trading weekend last weekend, fantastic feedback, fantastic covers, great job done by Jack and all the team in the kitchen. And this weekend, they're looking forward to their first big christening, and we've even got a wedding next week. Not the wedding that was actually going to be a, as a result of Brad being at the Black Lion last weekend, where we hear that one of the ladies in the restaurant took such a shine to Brad that his, her fiancé thought that he'd better propose before the end of the evening to stop her fancying Brad. So well done, Brad, but don't do it again. <laughs> Off the Wesselton Crown, first of all, gold medal on the barrel rolling. Phenomenal job by Gareth and his team. Well done to James and his team for almost 300 alfresco covers at the barrel race, and I think 100 covers at, in the house as well. Not every day one of our science gets a walk-in of 30 people midweek. Well, they did over at the, at the Wesselton Crown. Well done to them. Very busy weekend coming up. And finally, a big thank you to Carmela, who was the only person to volunteer to do this job while Steve was on his holiday. We will remember, and you will do this at some stage, but I thought it was unfair to make you do it so soon. Northgate, Taste of East Anglia many who sold every day for three weeks. Great teamwork. I think that means that Harry is back. Well done, Harry. The Rhubarbium cocktail is a top seller from Lewis's new menu. Michael's been giving it large behind the bar, thinking he's Tom Cruise from Cocktail. Team doing really, really well. And I know that some of the guys are putting in some fantastic hours, mainly Megan, putting in the hours, probably so Michael can spend the next four days on holiday. So Michael, that's what it feels like to go from hero to zero in about 30 seconds. Rupert Brook, lots of people rejoining and joining. We've had Matt move from the pack course to the Rupert Brook. We've had Pete join the kitchen. Zoe's back from a long European holiday. And I think we're wishing happy birthday again to Keith. Georgina is a cocktail queen. Anna's been taking charge with Charlie and Megan away. Overall, it's just fantastic to be celebrating people and the team over the Rupert Brook. And a massive well done to Charlie for building that all together. I think that's it. Probably too fast. Certainly doesn't have the delivery that Steve would give it. 
but it's been a it's been a great week we've got a really busy weekend coming up and good luck to everyone thank you very much for listening i think you're probably going to get this on monday morning after you've had a busy weekend apologies for that but hope it all goes well and i'm sure you're all looking forward to steve being back in two weeks time thank you